Hey guys, The Simple Student here. Welcome to episode 26 of Java Programming for Beginners. Today we're going to look at something called an array of strings. So the last few videos we were looking at arrays. Today we're going to look at how to use arrays with strings. So first of all, there's two ways to initialize them. I'm going to start off with what I think is the easiest way. So we're just going to say a string. And to show it's an array, these two brackets. And then we're going to say the name of it. I'm just going to say string1 and say equals and then curly brackets. Now inside these curly brackets we're going to put the values so we can say 1, 2, 3. Oops. Okay, so by doing, by initialising it this way, the string automatically knows what size the array is, so it knows that this string, array of strings, will have three values in it. Okay, so now to print this out, we're just going to say system dot out dot print line. I'm going to print string one, and then whatever index in the array we want to print. So say if we want to print uh, the first index, we'll put a zero in here because array index start with zero, so they should print out one. One, yeah, and if we wanted to put, um, print them all out, we just basically do this. Uh, string one, one, and a plus here. Okay, and so on like that. So we'll just run this and see. Yeah, one, two. Okay, so that's the first way to initialize it, and that's probably the easiest way. Now there's another way. And to do this, we're going to say a string the same again, and then the name of it, we're going to say, call this one string2. And for this, we're just going to say a new string. Now, inside this second square brackets, we have to say what size it is. So again, we're just going to say there's three in it. Now, to give values to these different um, parts in the array, we're just going to say a string2, and the first index equals... Four and then like that, and then string one equals five, and string sorry, there should be string two, string two, two equals six. Okay, and then to print these out, we're just going to say system. dot out dot print line same way we're going to print it the exact same way string two zero okay yeah so now it's printing out the zero index of the second string array, array we made which is four as you can see here okay that's all really on string arrays I just wanted to show you how to initialize string arrays two different ways and how to give them values really. So in the next tutorial we're going to look at a thing called two-dimensional arrays. Thanks for watching, this has been The Simple Student and I'll see you next time.